So I am the founder and CEO of JBFC, and we are an organization that works in Tanzania, East Africa. We have a home for 45 orphan and, and neglected girls. We have a school for 300 boys and girls, and we also do a lot of healthcare services and agricultural training as well. My grandmother had actually originally brought me to Tanzania and introduced me to this home for street boys. And at the time, I did not want to do that. I did not want to volunteer and work with people. I wanted to be a vet and that trip changed my worldview and my life. We've seen a massive transformation in the eight years we've been working in kind of our community, um, their view towards women, and just even the district as a whole, there's been a lot of movement. I didn't let the no's get in my way, and so we started very small. We bought four acres in rural Tanzania, built one house, and at first we're only able to help seven girls. I live there full time, I come back for a couple months of the year to fundraise and raise awareness about what we're doing. We operate through donations, mm -hmm. so primarily private families and uh, family foundations. It's rewarding and humbling at the same time because I want to keep going. Mm -hmm. We have one little girl, Esther, who was brought to us a couple years ago and she was four years old and only weighed 14 pounds. I originally thought she had been brought to us to die and now she is a bubbling, happy girl in preschool and is normal weight. That's what keeps me going, that's what inspires me. So we've been slowly building um, our school year by year, and so next year we'll actually have all of our grades completed and our first graduating class. Wow, that's so exciting. It so is. So 2015? This coming up. That's coming up. And so the same way that kind of my first trip to Tanzania changed my life, we offer that experience for high schoolers, college students, even adults um, from across the country to come over and experience what we're doing and be a part of our mission. Yeah.